hello friends and welcome today i have for you a fountain pen from my collection it is another flaro fountain pen flaro was a well-known manufacturer producer of fountain pens in communist romania and this fountain pen that i want to show you today is called flaro 61s and it was made in the 1970s you can see the beautiful design of the 70s in this fountain pen and i have uh, one example and uh, the other example it's the same model 61s but you can see that um, it is um, imprinted on the barrel in different characters so let's see i hope you can see yes it says 51s is the same like uh, the other fountain pen but it um, the clip of this fountain pen and the jewel at the top was uh, lost i will show you this uh, fountain pen as a reference but uh, we will talk about uh, this model you can see that on this model the imprint is slightly different so I will start my review with the Flaro 61S with the cap. The cap is made uh, of uh, black plastic and has this uh, steel uh, trimmings to it. Unfortunately, in time those uh, trimmings will um, corrode in contact with the different uh, liquids or the temperature of the room. It has this typical 1960s, 1970s clip. It has this jewel, like a small pyramid at the top of the cap. The same jewel we can see at the end of the barrel. Also on the barrel we have imprinted Flaro 61 as the name of the model. The cap on screws, so it's not a friction fit cap, it's a screwed cap, and it reveals this nib. I will show you a picture of it, because I, I don't know if my camera can focus it, yes, it uh, is written Flaro Iridium on it. At the back of the nib, we have this feed, it looks like ebonite and the whole uh, barrel and screws it reveals this uh, captive ink converter like a piston it's captive because you can remove it from the body it's typical of all Flaro models from 1970s with the uh, uh, the exception of um, Flaro Titan, which had a piston filler, but that is another story. You can see that we unscrew and um, it draws the ink. It's uh, very easy to dismantle this. I will start with this part. So the piston, we can unscrew this part and we will reveal this piston so you can grease it through here and you can also remove this section from here so it simply unscrews we unscrew the section it's dirty of ink right now but um, you can see that uh, uh, there's still a part remaining in the grip cylinder so we, we put it back it's friction so we put it back but um, why did i show that because only um, it's um, let's say a twin <laughs> twin so the same uh, imprint and um, 
let's see the imprint you can see 61 s so it's a bit faded away also we can unscrew we have the same type of uh, piston this is a little bit dirty i don't know maybe someone tried to glue it the first time i don't know but i wanted to show you uh, to show you that um, this screwing this part we can reveal this blue plastic part on the other model it was um, yellow plastic part and it didn't um, unscrew and it reveals the same um, Flaro Iridium 51FK 51FK it is a um, number of the factory and you can see the same ebonite feed i will put it back together fairly easy to take it to take it apart and clean it so that's it next um, i will show you some uh, comparisons with the other models from the 70s so this is the first one we unscrew the cap we screw the cap let's put it here and the other one so remember that at the other one we remove these pieces and if you have a similar model be careful not to lose them because they are very very important first we draw this piston the second we unscrew this part here and after that we secure this part with this part which also screws so now it is functional we put the barrel here and the cap here and now we are ready to make a size by size comparison with other models and for this i've, cho I've chosen a Mont Blanc from the 1960s that reminded me of uh, the shape of this fountain pen. Of course, this is a Mont Blanc 22 from the 1960s with the um, integrated piston filling mechanism. Another German fountain pen, this time is a 1975 uh, German fountain pen, a Geha. It has a wing window and also a piston. We have another communist fountain pen. This is a Soviet fountain pen made in the 70s and at the A and in the 80s. At the instrument fountain plant called Sako M. Vanzetti. We have a Pelican standoff from uh, launch in the 70s, but this is a, nine, a 1983 model. So I will show them to you side by side. And I will leave the measurements of the Flaro 61S on the screen. So you can see they are very, very similar in shape. Like all the pens from the 1970s. And I will come back with a writing sample. Welcome back to the writing sample. For this uh, writing sample, I will use the Parker Queen King. So I will give it a little shake. I unscrew the cap of the Flaro 61 S. And now I unscrew the barrel. So first of all, I will bring the piston at the end. I will submerge it in ink. And I will draw the ink. So you can see, you can see that the ink is drawn. Okay, let's clean it with a tissue. And now we put aside the ink bottle. Remember to 
close it. And we are practically ready for the writing sample. Okay. So, we have a flaro 61S from the 1970s. This is made in Romania. Okay, it has a steel nib. This nib was um, gold plated. It's an um, F or medium nib. I don't know exactly, but um, I believe it's a rather medium nib. Okay, as a steel nib, um, you can see no much, no much, uh, pretty much no flex. It has a nice feedback, uh, reasonable good uh, ink flow, so no problem. This was my uh, review of the communist uh, Romanian Flaro 61S fountain pen. I hope uh, you've enjoyed uh, my small review. As always, I wish you to have a nice day. And uh, thank you for watching this review.